Yeah, BK here. It's been a while. Um, doing another vlog entry for BK and the Understandings YouTube channel. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and follow along. Um, we would love your support, and hopefully you'll uh, be turned on to our music, especially as we release the new stuff in the hopefully near future. Um, I'm BK, and BK and the Understanding is my music project. It's my band. And this is part of season one, uh, the BK at You vlog series. Just wanted to give some updates. Um, got some good news. So I have a new music video that I'll be putting up, possibly before the vlog. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna look over it again in the morning and uh, kind of gauge where it's at. Might set the schedule for uh, this coming Saturday. I don't know what the date is. I'd have to look at a device to see what. I don't even know what today's date is to be honest. But it is July 20-something. <laughs> anyway, um, so that should be coming up soon. But a little bit about that. This will be a real short vlog entry. Um, try to keep it around 13 minutes tonight. But um, last summer, I had actually scheduled to record a music video for the song uh, that I co-wrote with Taisha Shante Simpson, who now releases music as Auntie, A-H-N-T-Y. Um, so check that out, A-H-N-T-Y, Auntie, as well as her old stuff under Taisha Shante, um, and I'll put the spelling of her name in here. Um, well, I'll put both in here, so you can look her up easily. Um, but I co-wrote this song with her in 2017, uh, A New Chapter is the name of the song, but last summer I had uh, planned to shoot it before Naylor Irby Game Love, and I was already getting that set up. Um, there was some kind of mix up of schedule and I may, it's been over a year now so I may be remembering it incorrectly but I had to put off shooting one of them because I wasn't able to coordinate with Miss Naylor who did end up starring in the Naylor Irby Game Love music video for her, the song that I wrote for her and her now husband Mr. Irby so um, we ended up shooting it uh, at the time and with the crew that I'd initially wanted to hire for the song A New Chapter. And we coordinated and got together with Miss Naylor and her husband, Mike Irby, and we were able to make the Naylor Irby Game Love music video. Now we only got one day with with Miss Naylor and her husband and her friends, and so we had to make the best. The day ended up being extremely hot, and we really pushed them. Um, we, we are happy with the end results, but you know, it's, it's the reality definitely caused us to have to make compromises on our vision. I still am proud of it. I think we did a fantastic job. I don't. I'm not saying that there's things wrong with it, but uh, you know, we have. You, you go in with these things just like when you go to record a song with your ideas, and and then the reality, you know, you have a certain amount of time, when you have certain um, what do you call it? Um, maybe restrictions or limitations or maybe you don't have, have access to things that you wanted to put in there that uh, you just don't have access to at the time and so circumstances but um, so anyway we ended up putting off a new chapter I think I may have tried to actually go ahead and shoot it before Naylor Air became love and then I couldn't find people to star in it I wrote an entire story for this a new chapter more of a detailed story than what I had for an, uh, Naylor Irby Game Love. In that music video, my main idea was to have uh, Miss Naylor and her husband, Mr. Irby, playing a tennis match against each other and have footage of her friends and some of our former co-workers, because we worked together in education, was to have them, you know, get footage of them and to make it a cute music video. That's what I wanted to do uh, and about their love story and use the real people, because why not? I've always had that mentality of since I am a you know BK understanding to this day is still a do-it-yourself uh, band and we have that work ethic do-it-yourself although again we hope to improve and be able to afford to get more help because things are better and more efficient that way but we also embrace the do-it-yourself attitude so my and part of that is I'm always like well why not use the people I actually know in real life um, I had to learn the hard way that, you know, some people just aren't comfortable being on a camera, no matter how wonderfully you think they would fit the role, and they're not seeking to be actors or actresses. So I did have trouble finding someone to star in a new chapter, because I had a very small budget, 
that I was working with, and I don't know professional actors. I have some former students that have, have taken acting classes at, uh, at the university from where I'm from, and things like that, but I don't know anyone who's making a living as an acting uh, as an actor actress so I didn't have those resources so I would reach out to people that I thought could do the part in hopes that they would want to help out and be that and I had a few bites I had a former student a very uh, lovely young woman who I think is now on her third about to have her third child beautiful young lady uh, really good you know I enjoyed having her as a student years ago I'd reached out to her and she wanted to help and we just couldn't make it work we couldn't get our schedules together and She's married and her husband approved of her being in the video and I had shared the storyline with them and everything and it looked like it was going to work out. It didn't. Um, we just weren't able to and she was stressed out at the time from, uh, you know, things going on in her life and so it just didn't work out. So then I reached out to uh, a, a cheerleader from a, a uni the university I graduated from. It seemed like she was going to default, come through and do the part and then ended up getting invited to go to a trip, I believe to Cancun if I remember correctly, with some friends and chose that over the making a music video and I don't blame her. <laughs> I get it. So that didn't work out. So I couldn't find people to do the part. So I went ahead and started shooting um, the things that I could shoot without the actors and actresses. I got footage of some of the places I wanted to use in the music video. Things that I thought I would would be useful. So I went ahead and started shooting some of the terrain and locations that I knew I wanted to use in the video. Real places that inspired my idea for the music video. Um, and a new chapter, you know, it's about that, that time in your life where, I mean, it's literally, it's, you know, thinking back on when you're graduating college. Um, I tried to make the music video work for both um, college graduates and high school graduates, you know. Um, but it's that, that, that new beginning stage of life where you're, you're completing a stage and now looking to the next chapter, the next part of your life. And just the nervousness and, but also excitement of those new beginnings. And I wanted to capture those things. And I wanted to use uh, things that were accessible to me from where I grew up, you know, uh, I got some footage of the university I graduated from, a place that wasn't far from the home I was living in at the time. I intended to get footage of running through the campus and things like that. I ended up not being able to do that. But I did get some footage of the university and um, then some footage of uh, the drive from that community to Granbury where we shot the Naylor Irby music video um, and got some footage of um, some of the schools there to use to represent the high schools. I uh, got footage of a former student of mine graduating that she gave me permission to use. Now that was shot with a Canon Rebel T6 which does not have any way to focus on the video. It will shoot, you know, 1080p video and does a good job on the quality but it doesn't have an autofocus the way that uh, the Canon M50 Mark II I'm using does. So all of that footage ended up being blurry of her, but I'm still I'm still going to be able to use it. Got some real footage of that and of her graduation, and got her permission to use it. So that's in there. And so I got um, footage of locations that we had arranged to shoot at Arcadia Coffee House in Fort Worth, Texas. We got their permission. We uh, reserved it for a day that would work for everybody. But after that, that's when I found out the cheerleader that had agreed to do the main role um, was going to go to Cancun instead. And again, don't blame her. And so I, had, I went ahead and stuck with the date and just had to use, you know, the people that were that did show up. And so many people weren't able to show up. A lot of people said they wanted to. They seemed sincere, wanted to come. They just couldn't make it. And uh, I even had, a, a, the original star of the music video was a former student of mine that had agreed to do it and she just never came through either. So we just ended up shooting with the handful of people that came that day. And so what I did is I pieced together a music video out of what I was able to make from the story that I'd originally written. And I'm going to keep the original story in the pocket. Maybe one day I'll be able to come back to it and actually bring it to fruition because I think it, the realization of the full story would be a much better music video, but I was able to create something with uh, what I what I was able to shoot last summer. And so the footage had been sitting there for a year. I kept hoping that I would be able to get an actress to come in, maybe even reshoot some stuff, get more people to show up to Arcadia and reshoot those scenes. But instead, 
it's time to close the chapter for basal keystones and this is the last music video I'm going to put out for basal keystones. And so I just wanted to pop in and uh, talk about that a little bit. I'll talk about it more. And in the next few vlogs I'll uh, return to showing you my, my sound, my, sorry, my pedal board hopefully. I want to get footage of actually showing what each of those pedals sounds like and talk about that and then do a video, you know, giving a little bit of an idea of how it was constructed again. Probably that will lead to, after that, a summation of the Basal Keystones era and then maybe discussion of what will be coming next. I am continuing to work on finishing our first studio album, but I also have one more do-it-yourself album that will come out before that. I'll talk about that more in the future. After that, we'll call that good on Season 1 of BKU. If you've watched this far, thank you so much. Um, every little bit of support and help you can can give, and we would we would we love it, and we're thankful for it, especially me. Um, please like and subscribe, and hit the notification bells. And uh, man, tell people about Beacon Understanding, and you know, talk about how much you enjoy it. Um, talk to music venues, venues, uh, and uh, maybe we can get get to to playing some more gigs. It's really hard to get gigs. Uh, these days because so many people are trying to get gigs so getting your foot in the door is hard but anyway thank you guys so much I believe strongly in the music we're putting out and the things I have to share and uh, yeah I'll take any help I can get getting that to an audience and making this um, if you, uh, come to fruition if you will anyway thank you so much Thank you so much.